Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're here on Parque Fernando and we're going to be doing the Black Buck Guide. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We actually have a Black Buck right up ahead as we speak. That was a mating call from one. But they drink from 1800 to 2100 hours as you can see right up here. They are a class 3 animal so it's going to give you a few different options on the guns you could use. Let's see if we can spot this guy really quickly. I'm not even too sure exactly where he is at. But you can use guns like the air rifle, the 30-30, the 223, and the 243 handgun. He's actually just right up ahead. So there he is right there. Level 3, 84 to 101. We won't worry about him. But you can use any of those four guns, and then just any gun that covers class 3, and it should do the job just fine. Max level is 5 medium, max weight is 51 kg, silver is 71.8, gold is 106.3, and diamond is 132.2. Common fur types are black, brown, and dark. Rare fur types are leucistic and melanistic, and you can use the antler rattler to lure them in. But that pretty much does it here for the information, so we're going to jump right in. We're going to go take down some black bug. So we're going to be starting things off at this little lake right here. It's actually a pretty good one for me. It has three zones on it. This outpost is the Casita de Barrio. And we're up here at the top of the map. And the Black Buck, they pretty much have the same home range as like the Water Buffalo did. Where they're pretty much all along the east coast. But then you have some just scattered throughout here on some of the lakes. If you cut the map in half like right through here, you're going to find Black Buck over here on the east coast. So we have a level 3 over here. There was actually a couple of level 4s. But there was a Puma that came through and ended up messing that up. And their, their zone was like right over here. So if we look on the map, we have this zone over here in the corner. There's another one there, which is where the level fours were. And then we have this one over here to my right. So we're going to go ahead and just focus on this level three instead. He's decent. He's not the biggest one ever, obviously, but he's decent. 83 to 101. He's about 200 out. So I think we'll go ahead and just use the 243 handgun to start things off with. It's overall probably the best gun. I also would recommend that you get the high tech pack. It's going to get you the night vision binoculars and the night vision scope that we have right now. And it's just going to make things a lot easier when you are hunting the black buck since they do drink. The first hour, it's pretty much daytime, but once it gets to about 1900, like we are right now it does start to get dark so it's just better to have something that you can actually see with so let's go over there and let's get this level three and let's check him out here's our little guy right here and picking him up he will in fact just be a little silver at 100.12 so i mean he was at the top of his estimates he went up to 101 but got him in the right lung and the left lung there so that was a perfect shot with the 243 handgun i don't know what that little black thing is on the screen when i go to the x-ray view i do not know what that is but yeah 101.12 gold is 106.35 so he is a big silver little black bucks and up ahead here we have a big level 4 113 to 131 for this guy's estimates he is only one point below diamond there and then we have this level 4 as well 104 to 121 now this one the big one isn't giving us a very good shot unfortunately so we might end up just going for the um smaller one here he is attentive right now he's about 80 meters out i think that says so i think we're going to use the air rifle here let's go ahead let's use the air rifle and let's take him down so we'll go for something like that definitely hit him and that is going to be fantastic now we might be able to get this one as well i'm going to go for that aimed a little high hopefully he was good but chances are it probably wasn't probably didn't need to aim as high as i did so can we get a follow-up potentially I don't think we're going to be able to, so we're going to end up messing him up, seems like. Um, that's unfortunate, but we'll just go get the other one. We definitely got a good shot on him, and that other, the big one should go down, so I think we can find him. Track him down and all that. I probably shouldn't have took a follow-up there. I'm terrible with those. Shouldn't have went for that second shot, but let's go get the one that we did take down. Here's the one that we got a vital shot on. You can see the blood right over there. Let's go ahead and pick him up. He will be a gold at 108.70, and we got him in the left lung, so it was a little bit low there, 82 meters away, so the effective range on the air rifle is 50 meters, so I adjusted a little bit for that, but we did get just a bit low. But it did take him down quickly, so I won't complain about it. But he's a decent one. Um, the other one, he, I think he did go down as well. I was checking the map. I saw that the hunting pressure looked pretty good. Um, it looked like we'd gotten to him, so we will go check that out, see if we can find him. Let's accept this one, and yeah, let's go get him. We're up here at the very top of the map still, just along here at this zone. So let's go see if we can find this guy. We do have blood right there. Let's go get him. And then here's the one that we messed up. So I aimed like right in the middle of the neck. I'm curious to see what happened here. But he will be a silver 122.25. So he was a big one. And we did mess him up there. Got him in the flesh. And that was just very terrible. That was a bad shot. Probably shouldn't have took that. Like I said, I'm terrible when it comes to trying to get like a second shot on another animal. And he was alert and all that. Plus the air rifle is effective range of 50 meters. So that was 91 meters away. I just did not adjust for it whatsoever. I just took it just, just out of nowhere there. Just kind of last second. So that's just on me for taking it, but got him in the flesh. It took him down. He's a big one. So let's go ahead and just accept him. 
And there's another big level 4 right there. As soon as he walks out of the tree, we'll spot him again. 108 to 125. So not quite as big as the other one was, but still pretty decent um, for a level 4 here. There's also a level 3, 88 to 105. Let's go ahead and try and get him here with the 3030. Now, the 3030, you can't put a um, night vision scope on it, so that is why we don't have that. But trying to get him to go alert so he'll turn towards us, and then we can probably take a frontal shot. Of course, he's going to go calm again. Now he's going attentive. They are all over the place. Um, if I'm crawling over there, they'll go alert, and then as soon as I start walking towards them, they'll just stay calm and whatnot. So let's see. He's going to turn towards us. He's going to kind of go broadside there. That is perfect, and that shot will be perfect as well. So got him down. Don't see any others over there. Let's go grab this guy. And then I think the only gun we yeah, the only gun we have left to use is the Zarza 223. So we're over here still on the east coast. We're further down now instead of up here at the top. But um yeah, this zone is right here and actually really close to an outpost. The Casita de Cristal, I think is how you say that one. So here's this guy and let's grab him. He'll be a gold 117.03, left lung and the heart. So that was a beautiful shot on this guy with the 3030. So to wrap things up, we're at this lake right here. This one is pretty good. It's down here at the very bottom of the map. It's got like two zones on it for me. The herds are pretty good. This guy is our biggest one we've seen so far today. 117 to 134. There's also a couple level twos with him. 60 to 78, and I think the other one is somewhere up here. There goes one I think that is fleeing from the zone over here to my left. I ended up spooking him on accident. So let's go ahead and go for this guy. We do have one fleeing over there because that just makes sense. The wind is pretty good, so I don't know why they'd be fleeing like that. I guess it's just because we're running around and stuff. But let's go ahead and try and get this guy. I want him to go alert. That's kind of why I was running around in the first place, to see if I can get this one to go alert. But of course he wouldn't, because that is just my luck. So we might be able to throw a shot over there with the air rifle. Um, It's not super loud, so it might just get their attention. And then we can potentially take him down. So there he goes. He is going to turn. Let's get the 223 out, and let's try to get him here. So the female's kind of in the way. Let's take that shot, and that looked fantastic. Should have been into a single lung. The 223 might take him just a little bit to go down, but he is going to start dropping 50 to 75. It's just an underpowered gun, so let's go get him. And then finally, here is our big level 4. Let's pick this guy up. He's got a lot of curls going on right there. He'll be a gold 125.29. Got him in the right scalpula and the right lung. So this guy, he was diamond potential, like we said. Diamond's 132. He went up to 134, but I did not expect him to be a diamond, obviously. But he's still a decent one. Got him in the scapula in the right lung. A little bit high on that shot, but he got the job done just fine. So let's go ahead and accept him. Let's jump over to the map guide. I will show you where the zones are and all that good stuff. Here's the Parque Fernando Black Buck Guide. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So like I said in the video, they pretty much have the same home ranges like the Water Buffalo. You're going to find them all along the East Coast, which happens to be the best area for them. And then on some of the lakes, just on the right side as well. Pretty much if you cut the map in half, all the way through the middle, that's where you're going to find them is on the right side. But that's going to do it for this guide. I do hope it was helpful. And if it was, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.